Hi students, welcome to Year 11 Earth and Environmental Science. This is Module 1 on Earth's Resources and we've moved to video number 11 where we're going to be looking at Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people's rock classification systems. So what we need to do in this particular video is to investigate methods of classifying rocks used by the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples. What we hope you can do is to describe some of the First Nation people's uses of native rocks to contrast Western and native perspectives of geology and also perhaps to justify the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people's choice of particular named rocks for particular purposes. So what do we know about the uh, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people's culture? Well, what we know is it's an ancient culture. It's one that's been part of the Australian continent for the past 60,000 years and, and possibly longer than that. And in that time, um, the Indigenous Australians have mined the land for a number of very important materials, uh, including different types of rocks and minerals. Ochre uh, is a very important substance and one that was used for art and also for religion and also used to decorate some of the tools that were produced by the uh, First Nations people. They also used a number of different types of stones and unlike our classification systems where we look at things like the chemical composition, the structure, the Aboriginal Australians were looking at rocks being classified on the basis of their use. So they were very much more utilitarian in the way that they looked at how to identify particular types of rocks. So a direct relationship between the type of rock and its potential use. And obviously there were a lot that weren't going to have any particular use, but there was so much important um, material that was uh, being used by our First Nations people um, that they were actually able to use these for trading. Some of the different types of rocks that we found um, from some of the uh, ancient sites include uh, quartzite, which was used in stone knives like the one you see down here, and also for woomeras. Kimberley points were uh, also used for stone implements. These have subsequently been replaced by shaped glass. Different types of grinding stones were also used um, to turn seeds and things into a type of flower. And also volcanic rock was also favoured um, for use as axe heads. So there was a large range of different types of rocks and minerals available to um, our ancient Australians and they put these to fantastic use. They used a great range of different types of rocks and minerals for a number of different uses. And it was the use that's the basis for the classification system. Another important area where we find some of the management of resources by the First Nations people is in the area of aquaculture. This is a small extract from the uh, Bruce Pascoe book, Dark Emu, in which he talks a lot about the sophisticated agriculture and aquaculture practices of our First Nations people. And in one section, there is a quote from um, uh, a, a, a settler called Beveridge, and he has um, been recording some different information about some of what he has seen in various uh, Aboriginal sites. And it says this, in other parts of the stream, permanent fences of stone, brush and stakes were fixed in a zigzag fashion across the stream with apertures to allow the passage of fish. Nets were fixed in these spaces wherever, uh, whenever fish were acquired. Beveridge also remarked on a series of dikes placed across the Murray River floodplain to prevent it from receding too quickly during summer and thus ensuring retention of fish stocks. The dikes built from vast quantities of clay were over a metre high and extended along the river as far as the reedy plains extended. The warm, shallow water in these weirs created perfect conditions for breeding fish. So this was genuine 
aquaculture. And it wasn't just um, a, a knowing where in the river to fish, it was an active management of the supply, an active management of this particular source of food. And it was a use of uh, both um, stone, uh, clay, the, the soil material that the um, First Nations people were able to use to uh, build these dams and these weirs and to contain these fish in order for them to continue to uh, effectively farm them uh, for their use. This is just a couple of little examples. Obviously in class we'll have a look at some more examples at some of the ways in which our Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people classified rocks, used them for a variety of different purposes as part of their culture and, uh, and also had uh, some of these very sophisticated processes uh, in their management of the land. Thanks for watching.